Alright, welcome back. The show is still the 60 countdown. It's time for us to speak to our esteemed guest on Spotlight. Now, I mentioned that Dr. Vibes will be joining us in the studios today, and he is right here with me, all the way from my papa, Laboni, yeah, the man. Paul Ni Amudakon. Yeah, Paul Ni Amu Andrew Dakon. Andrew Dakon. Yeah. Paul Ni Am Andrew Dakon. Why, why is it Andrew at the last bit and not. Man, I'm feeling a dozen, so like everybody wanted to give me their own name, so <laughs> they shared it. <laughs> and everybody put his own How name. How many are you guys? In my, in my house? Yeah. I have a very huge extended family okay. across Accra, so. Anyway, so what you say everybody wanted to give? Let's say my grandma, my mom, my father. And you had my to accommodate auntie. all of it. Yeah, so you have to put everything together. So how did Dako vibes come about? Um, so my, my surname is Dako. Right. That's my surname. Right. But uh, and when uh, I started joining social media, mm. I was looking for something cool mm. to add to the Dako. So I mean, it can. I mean, uh, when I'm posting my my drips or my music, Your drips. it's like yeah, <laughs> they, it, can, it can match with the aesthetic. Right. So I was thinking of something, and then vibe skin. I was like, oh, this, it, it flows nice, like mm. Daco vibes. It's a, it's a vibely thing. So you, let's put it there, and it's been like that since. You you kicked off your career in 2012. Uh, or yeah, less with Vax and all. I mean, it's a story that's been told yeah. over and over again. Yeah. You know, working with Vax and everything. But you are more of a stylist. I, I feel like you are more of a stylist, a fashionista, than you know, um, a musician. Like when, when people listen to Darko Vibes, yeah. they first see the stylish man mm -hmm. who is doing great music. Yeah. So did did the fashion find you first, or music did? I'll say mu uh, uh, they both found me because right. it's art. And I really appreciate art. I mm. really love fabrics. Mm. I really love clothes. Mm. So I kind of like followed up on that. And through that, you know, fashion and clothes yeah. kind of like work together. Because if you are watching TV, you are watching TV, like city TV like this. Right. And then like the guy drip, right. you learn you from that. Okay, you you learn, if, 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 you, if you are somebody who's enthused right. about fashion, you see it, you are intrigued. And then the next thing you know, and that's that's how it happened. Do you have do you have a signature style yet? Because you seem to be changing your styles as and when. That's like what, that's the dark vibe signature style. It's it, it's all mood. Mm. It's mood and fragrance. So what yeah. mood is this? Right now, I, um, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> you I just don't really enjoy know. It yeah, <laughs> I don't know how it makes people feel, mm. but like I feel I feel great. No, it's actually it's actually great sauce. I mean, oh, thank you. Big shout out to Big Lomo, man. You, That's my friend. You seem to work it very well. Yeah, I'm so, saying all day. Let's talk about music. Um, yeah. You have a great single out, but before we get to that single, the first time I heard of you was when you dropped Mercy, mm -hmm. and then later you had Tomorrow, which yeah. went crazy. I mean, it went nationwide. It went international. Mm -hmm. Everybody was talking about Darko Vibes, Darko Vibes, Darko Vibes. At a mm -hmm. point in time of your life, did you think that this is a journey of no return. I mean, I've been doing it for a long time. So plan B, we say plan A for work. That's right. Thing. So when it started working, I, I was like, oh, the people are digging the thing that I am doing right now. It will mean it get more energy. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So I've been putting in like all my energy, all mm. my efforts, all my passion. Mm. And like, we're here today. You seem to marry the local language, which is the Ga you speak. But of course, where you come from, you speak Ga. Yeah and english and the music you do all together you package it so nicely Damn. was it an intentional attempt to to represent your people at the same time put out great music so i kind of like grew up for plenty places like i grew up for labadi i grew up for malam i grew up for bawe mm. sometimes i go stay my aunties them are there mm. sometimes mm. i go day north k for joy being there i mm. go stay spin text while you roam I the room where we I I'm I I'm, I'm a full road man. Like wow. if you know me, you know that I'm always on road. Like mm, I have like mm, my backpack. Mm, mm, I'm mm. always I'm always active like that. Like I'm mm. even playing. Yeah. Mm. And then so you so you, the, the the cultures of So these I think these these places that I've been going to kinda like fusion. influence the way I speak. So let's say if I go to a place where a lot of people speak tree, I I, I don't want to be in a situation where everyone is speaking tree and then you don't mind understand. sucks. So I'll I'll, I'll <laughs> yes, I'll be I'll try and learn, pick some vocabulary and they try and say like the way my friend, exactly like mm, the way my mm, friend is saying. Mm, Sometimes mm. I don't get it, but like I try. Right. So that's what I've been doing on and on and mm. picking okay. different languages. Mm. So um, how would you say the, the um, shall I say, the education of, of the languages have influenced the type of music you do? Because Darko vibes from the set go from where we come from, mm -hmm. he's gone. 
but here you are sharing with us that you are also capable in speaking of these languages. So when do you determine that this song, I'm going to maybe do a chi, you know, bit to it, this song, I'm going to do a ga, bit to it. Like, how do you, how do you get influenced by it? these things it always depends on how that language is going to sound on the record on not the record around that part like if you listen to my song i, right. I like i speak everything some mm. depend on how it flows mm. so depend on how that parts of the song the sound mm. so that i go put chi mm. english or gun for the wow so just so that like i'm like okay if i put gun here then i say gun and then when the beat drops and i put like this gun thing over here it's going to enter the post heart. Or mm. if I say this tree thing that mm. I really know how to say well mm. over here, it will enter the my heart. So I'm just been maneuvering like that. I listened to Palogo, the album we dropped in 2020. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you agree with me, but it seemed more experimental than the sounds that, or the singles that many people may know you by. Yeah. What, what was the, what, what was the, the, the notion in putting that album together? For those watching you for the first time who haven't even heard about it, yeah. what was the notion of putting it? Because you put a lot of work into that album yeah. as your first studio album. Yeah. What, what were you thinking about? What was going through your mind? What were you looking to achieve? Okay, so that, that I kind of like wrote that album based on wherever I've been, like right. Jamestown, Ghana House there and everything, like mm. wherever I've been and everything. I kind of like created a song for everyone who knows me personally. Mm. So when you're, if you're listening to the lyrics or some of the things that are inside, mm. I'm talking about my family, I'm talking about my life and everything that I've been through in mm. a way. Mm. So if you know me well, well, you know Port Niamuan to Dark yeah. Vibes, you know that like that song, kind of, that album is kind of like personal to you. So when you go to everywhere that I kind of like grew up at, they relate to it totally differently, differently. Than mm. how other people relate to it. So, because this one was solely for like them. So would you say it was like an intro into the life of Paul for the random listener or it was just because say, people who knew you wanted I'll to get say that. Mm. I would say that for you who is coming to like follow this Dark Vibes mm. journey mm. this is like how it is now like this is how I started this, this is how I started and this is the situation that I'm in now so I did it and then if you could listen to him I, I kind of like picked high life and yeah. local yeah. stuff Look, so that because and stuff. I know the people that I'm going to like I'm speaking to mm. but I know how they want to listen to the song so I created like the whole pan logo this thing for them so that they can launch to it and they know that I still remember what's up so for, mm. for listeners who have heard of Darko Vibes and they want to jump on the bandwagon what yeah. song would you say they should go listen to first to give them an idea of who Darko Vibes is um, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't say go and listen to any song first. I will just say that go through my catalog and then select what you like because there's different moods in there. So I don't know the kind of mood that you did inside mm. at the moment. Then I say go and select this song. And then after that time, maybe you're sad. You're, you're not feeling for this excitement. So you don't relate. So I'll, I'll be like, go in there, listen to the catalog, and then pick the and one pick that ones you want. If you, after that time, as you listen to them, you really connect to. Mm. You and you now, definitely go connect. Now you you are featured with, on the songs with a number of great artists, mm -hmm. you know, and with every verse, every feature you've done, you always have that special effect, that special touch. Mm -hmm. Would you say it is who Darko Vibes is, or would you say the influences you've garnered from all these places have given you an upper hand over? other artists because when when people hear a song and darker vibes on it like the song they can promise mad like yeah. that song was on rotation for a very long time people say that was a perfect duo um to to do a song like that mm -hmm. where, where would you where would you accredit that grace to god mm. to god because mostly it's not it's not premeditated it's just vibes wow so it's continuity and now and there is it comes from ja himself so you don't struggle to put songs together no way. Sometimes I struggle. You see, yeah, there, we have some songs that you finish in five minutes, and there are, so there are some songs that I'm kind of like experimenting on. So I'm looking for something. I haven't found it yet. That one mm. like this, it can take years. Wow. Oh, yeah. That one, because other songs, so many other things are going on. They're mm. working on records. Mm. The one that wants to be easy will, will, will come, put you come out through. right now. Yeah. If you want to be tough, mm. it will go tough on you inside the studio. You would, you, would you say you are part of the OT scene? Because sometimes I, I find it difficult to identify where you belong. 
Are you mm. part of the altar scene or you are I'm, I'm, highlighted? I'm, 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 a, I'm a full human being that belongs everywhere. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, because like I'm, I'm not that kind of person who's going to say I'm, I'm in this box. There's no box. I'm, I'm like, sometimes I wake up and feel like I want to put carries or beads or whatever. Mm. And that's how I feel African today. I'm, like, I'm allowed to feel that way. African, yeah. Tomorrow, if I want to wear hoodies and wear... You know what I'm saying? Some balances and stuff. Mm. That's how I feel. Mm. And I'm allowed to do that. So I, I feel like everyone should feel free to mm. float on every wave on every with wave, me. Yeah. Don't be stuck in some way. Then one day you want to wear something then because you are thinking that it's hard. No, feel free and move. Feel free. Talking about feeling free, it got to mm. a point where you went mute. Like you went silent. I think for like a, like a year or two, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Dark Vibes wasn't pushing music. Then we heard about the Lamem situation. We don't mm -hmm. have time to get into that. Mm -hmm. But after, after a while, you came back. Mm -hmm. And you came back very strong. You didn't, yes. just, you didn't just come back alone. You came back with Davido. And you brought Jim Appel. Talk yeah. to me about that, that, that period of silence. Um, was I mean, it, it, was, it was coronavirus. And I wasn't ready to put out. And I had already put out one logo. And then people were enjoying to, uh, jamming to in our song and stuff. I wasn't ready to put out songs without like doing any proper media stuff for him or like I wasn't there. So I was like, okay, let me me to let me use this time to me to you know, build myself. I kinda like feel like that the corona thing that happened kinda like sat let everybody be like, okay, let me sit down and then analyze my life. So I, I had to like allow myself to meditate and go through that. So Jimapel was born out of the meditation? No, no, Jimapel and stuff has been there. Okay. We've been working and throughout the whole place, it's not like we are silent, so we are not in the studio. Right. We are silent in the public eye, but like in our private lives and then in our studio working. works and then like we working two, four, seven. Like if you're on my social media and stuff, you'll be seeing that we'll be traveling, going on trips. Mm. We'll, today mm. we day are down, tomorrow mm. we day here, just to make sure that we are we are we are sane. We are trying we are, because we want to create music Correct. that yeah. the world at large is going to like really really jump too i mean the world is jamming to jim appell are you jamming. excited are you excited by the response I'm, is this I'm, something I mean, that I'm, you expected I'm super, I'm super excited but like yeah i mean we have come on we have superstar davido on the song That's right. he's, he's speaking gun how did you get how did you get him to speak gun quickly like how david, david davido was in love with the gun because you know the guns we kind of like migrated from Dudronimo from mm, nigeria. nigeria so when so when, when we speak Ga, it almost sounds the same. You see, sometimes sometimes we guns go feel here Nigeria song, and we we'll be like, that, then the teeth on our lines. Yeah, Sumo, yeah, Miba, yeah, Joe, yeah, those yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. That, it's it's that's their language. Well, a, a, lot, a lot of Nigerians, uh, I've started using Odo and stuff like that. I'm that, sure we we'll get. That's that's, <laughs> what, that's that's what I'm saying because we are kind of like the same people, mm. and then the language almost sounds the same when you put everything together. together. Do you understand? Right. So them two, they, then they, then they jack, jack some. <laughs> All right. So I've been talking to the man, Darko Vines. Darko, yeah. um, you have Jim Appel out with the video, banging, yeah. banging record. Yeah. This is your camera. I want people to um, get to know where to find your music, yeah. where to follow you on social media, and also introduce the brand new one, Jim Appel, featuring the video. Let's All go. Right. Yo, 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 Wagwan people, it be your boy Darko Vibes, and I want you guys to check out my new single, Je Appel, featuring Davido, produced by MOG Beats. This shit is banging now. I want you guys to go and check it out. I love you all. Mad up.